Well, good morning, everyone. Thank you all for coming out today. We're excited uh, for another announcement uh, today. And uh, I'm going to bring up our board chair, Mr. Thornton, to start things off. Good morning, and what a beautiful morning that we have. And so we want to make sure we take advantage of it. Um, let me say in French, bonjour. It's my honor to speak to you on behalf of the Henrico County Board of Supervisors. As many of you know, we are experiencing an extremely competitive labor market. And both the public and private sectors, employers are struggling to find enough qualified candidates to fill these open positions. In Henrico, we know firsthand that the government sector is not immune to these challenges, particularly in the most critical areas of public safety and mental health. As a uh, Board of Supervisor and County Administration, we are committed, I want to say that word again, we are committed to protecting the health and safety of our residents and community. I'd like to thank uh, those with us today for all that you do and your employees do for our community. We have Chief uh, Eric English, uh, that is police chief. We have Deputy Fire Chief Jim Courtney. We have Sheriff Elisa Gregory and Emergency Communications Director Kevin Pond. Uh, we also have the Henrico Area Mental Health and Developmental Services Director, Mrs. Laura Tonti. Just as we are committed to promoting public safety and mental health, Henrico is committed to being a good place to work. That's why we have made and continue to make significant investments in our workforce. Our police officers, firefighters, teachers, and other employees. They are the ones who provide the services to our residents, businesses, and community. To attract the best talent, you must be the best employer. And RICO is committed to being the region's pay leader, and we are backing it up with action. Today, we are announcing the Henrico County Encore Program. This program will give our county another, watch this word we're going to use that, will give us another tool to ensure that we are staffed in the vital areas of public safety and mental health. To accomplish this, we are tapping an excellent talent pool, our own, can you believe it, our own retirees. As a retired French professor, I am pleased that we have chosen this particular word, encore, uh, as a name, borrowing from the French, the word which means more or again. Our retired employees served this community extremely well for many years. Now, we are looking at them and exclaiming, encore. So, at this time, I would like to invite our Director of Human Resources, Mrs. Yvette George, to explain how the Encore program works. But before you give me the microphone, you know, we always have to overdo it. <laughs> I'd like to add a word that comes to us from French and Italian, and all of us can say this, bravo, okay? Thank you. Thank you, Sir Chair. Good morning. Again, I am Yvette George, Human Resources Director for Henrico County. I am here to introduce you to a new program designed to benefit our police and fire divisions, our 911 Communication Center, our Sheriff's Office, and Henrico Area Mental Health and Developmental Services. Incentivizing dozens of retired county employees to return to temporary part-time positions the Henrico County Encore program allows individuals who apply and are rehired 
in designated positions to be paid at the hourly rate in which they received at the time of their retirement, rather than a lower prevailing market rate. Employees will be classified as hourly temporary employees and will be limited to a maximum average of 29 hours per week or 1,500 hours within a 12-month period. Encore represents a nimble response to a highly competitive job market in which public and private sector employers are struggling to attract sufficient candidates for vacant positions, as our county manager has said, we're looking to tap into a proven talent pool, our loyal retired employees. They have the qualifications, they have the experience, they have the training to help us meet the service needs of our Henrico County community. The program, again, is open only to Henrico County employee retirees. Henrico County Encore was established to provide a unique opportunity for dedicated employees to return to Henrico County to fulfill a critical need. As committed Henrico County public servants, we are more than just the function of our jobs. We, are, we embrace inclusion, courage, customer engagement, communication, and leadership so we can meet today's needs while focusing on future readiness. Henrico Encore makes retirement the right time for part-time. As of this morning, the job postings have officially opened. Qualified mental health clinicians will be applying as well as other public safety employees. I right now would like to introduce you to our Chief of Police, Chief English, to tell you a little bit about, more about the positions open in the police department. Thank you. Well, thank you, Yvette. Uh, and it's great to be here this afternoon to talk about our new Encore program. So the Enrico Police Division is looking forward to inviting our prior service members to rejoin our ranks to mentor and serve as relief school resource officers, better known as SROs. These returning members bring decades of experience back to the division and our community. Most importantly, these members will serve as role models and mentors to our youth alongside the SROs who are currently have within our school system. Members who take part in this exciting opportunity will maintain their law enforcement certifications and receive additional school resource officer training to work alongside our resource officers in our Henrico County Public Schools and our public school officials. Encore is an exciting opportunity to invite talented members back on a part-time basis while focusing on the safety of our students and faculty. Many of our retirees maintain their drive and passion for public service, and the Enrico County Police Division is proud to bring back some of that talent to help ensure the safety of our youth population. I also want to mention that there are opportunities in our Emergency Communication Center, better known as 911, for prior service members to rejoin the division and provide service to our community by serving as communications dispatchers. These members also bring a wealth of experience to the 911 profession and excellent service to our community. These are two opportunities within our division for prior, for prior members to return and continue serving in public safety. I am going to have our Henrico County Fire Division come up and have Chief Jim Courtney explain the fire side with us. Thank you all. All right, thank you, Chief English. My name is Jim Courtney. I'm the Operations Chief for the Henrico County Division of Fire. I'd like to thank the Henrico County Board of Supervisors and our Director of Public Safety and County Manager, Mr. Vitoakis for the opportunity to not only continue to maintain relationships and engage our retirees, but also to help the Division of Fire and other departments find effective solutions to staffing needs. The Division of Fire is looking to fill 14 Encore positions across four sections, and I'm gonna briefly highlight each of those for you. Uh, the Division of Fire's Community Assistance Resources and Education Program, better known as our CARE Program, is seeking to fill two positions. One position will assist the field-based care outreach 
uh, team and one will continue to work with the advocacy for the aging branch of the CARE program. The Division of Fire's operations section manages a fleet of peak time basic life support ambulances. This is known as the Division's MTT program and we're seeking to fill four positions there. These positions are medical transport technicians and they focus on the transport of low acuity patients. The Division of Fire's Community Risk Reduction Section or CRR section is seeking to fill six Encore positions. These six positions include two uh, fire and EMS instructors, two fire inspectors, and two CRR specialists that will assist with public education, smoke detector installations, and hospital transport management. Finally, the Division of Fire's Office of Professional Standards is seeking to fill two Encore positions, and these positions will assist with processes that manage quality assurance and internal departmental investigations. Lastly, I'd like to mention, in addition, as Chief English did, to the strong relationships the Division of Fire shares with its police and sheriff partners, we also share a very strong partnership with the Emergency Communications Center or the ECC. Although the ECC does not fall directly under the Division of Fire, we do maintain representation in their center and we use their services 24 hours a day for emergency dispatch and resource management on emergency scenes. The ECC seeks to fill positions through the Encore program. It is both a win for the ECC to get these positions from a staffing perspective and a win for the Division of Fire to have retired personnel in the ECC who understand our system and how operations work on emergency incidents. We're excited to potentially see some of our retirees fill this critical role on the public safety team. And I'd like to bring up Sheriff Gregory to talk about the, uh, the sheriff's position on this. Thank you very much. Hello everyone, I'm Sheriff Elisa Gregory and I'm so excited to have such a commitment from the county to help us fill such critical needs. Um, like the chiefs said, uh, we provide a valuable service to the community and to continue to maintain the level of professionalism and service that we provide, we're excited to be able to bring back some of our most talented um, groups, the, our retirees, to be able to help us fill these positions. At the Sheriff's Office, um, our, prior our priority of need is with the jails our jail operations, our programs and services. So we are looking to have staff return to be able to help us maintain our services, our security, um, and expand some of the programs that we are implementing for the inmate population. So excitement, it, it is hard to contain. Um, we have been doing what we do uh, with the vacancies that we have and sometimes, oftentimes, it's a struggle to be able to maintain that level of service that the folks, the citizens in Henrico County are accustomed to. So I encourage anyone that has given um, their service to public safety to rejoin us, to help us to continue the Henrico County way and provide the best service to the citizens that we serve. Thanks, Sheriff. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you all for coming to yet another Henrico announcement, and uh, we look forward to seeing you again soon. Thank you.